So today our discussion will be chemical properties of group 1 elements and anomalous properties of lithium. First of all, we will discuss on chemical properties of group 1 element. So we all know what are group 1 elements, okay? So group 1 elements, they are also known as alkali metals, okay? So these alkali metals, they are highly reactive, okay? Why they are highly reactive? The reason is because of their large size, low ionization enthalpy, okay? So low ionization enthalpy means uh, they can uh, readily donate their outermost electron, okay? That NS1 electron, okay? NS1 electro electron. So they readily donate these electrons, okay? That's why they are highly reactive, okay? So as we move down the group, ionization and RV increases okay so it means their reactivity will also increase therefore their reactivity increases down the group okay so as their size increases their reactivity also increases now let's come here in chemical properties number one reactivity towards air so we all know in air oxygen will be present okay so it react okay its reactions with oxygen okay some example will be given here so before writing the product okay so these um, alkali metals they react with oxygen okay and tarnish in dry air because of their low ionization enthalpy okay and from oxides so by tarnish uh, tarnish okay the tarnish means they lost their luster okay they are usually um, solid okay so they lost their luster okay in presence of air okay so we will observe some change in their coloration also okay if they are kept exposed to air so they react with oxygen okay and then form oxides okay so they form compound with oxygen okay so it simply means oxides okay so first of all the first element lithium it form lithium oxide okay So this uh this is not two okay Li two O okay oxide okay that means uh one oxygen is present now sodium next element with oxygen to give Na two O two okay so it is peroxide. Okay, when two oxygen is present peroxide okay so this lithium forms oxide sodium form peroxide okay so the other elements the heavier one okay the heavier one the larger cation they form superoxide okay n plus o2 and o Super oxide. So this M R potassium magnesium cesium. Okay. Now lithium. Okay, this lithium due to its small size. This lithium react with nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen present in air. Okay. It breaks with nitrogen present in here. Uh, it breaks directly with this nitrogen present in air. Okay, so it breaks with nitrogen present in air to give lithium nitrite. Okay, lithium nitrite. So this is Li3N. Okay.
so they are highly reactive okay these alkali metals they are highly reactive highly reactive okay with oxygen and water okay or in presence of oxygen and water okay we can say it like that also so therefore they are get in kerosene okay so kerosene is a hydrocarbon also okay so they do not uh break okay in kerosene so they are get inside kerosene okay so in presence of oxygen and water they are highly reactive okay okay so in pre uh, with water explosions may take place okay and then with oxygen it may also burn now let's come here to the second one reactivity towards water okay so these alkali metals react with water okay it react with water to give hydroxide and dihydrogen Let's see the reaction 2m plus 2h2o to give 2m plus plus 2oh minus plus h2 okay so this h2 is evolve okay now let's see the example to get a plus 2h2o so it will give hydroxide sodium hydroxide and h2 Now uh, you will see one difference here, okay? These alkali metals, okay, they uh, react with water, okay, strongly, okay, they react with water strongly, okay, and with explosion, okay. So when you put alkali metal in water okay it will explode okay it will explode the reaction is uh, highly reactive okay so that's why it happens okay when you put alkali metals in water the reaction will take place okay uh, in a very uh, highly reactive manner okay so explosions take place however for lithium okay as we know lithium is also very small okay this lithium react uh, less readily okay than the rest of the alkali elements so the reason is uh, it's because of its small size and also because it has high hydrogen enthalpy okay this hydrogen enthalpy we have discussed in the general characteristics okay in our part one video now the third point um, reactivity towards dihydrogen so Alkali metals react with dihydrogen at 673 3 Kelvin okay, to form hydrides. Let's write the general one 2M 673 Kelvin okay, to NH. This is metal hydride. So this uh, hydride we have come across even in our uh, unit 9 hydrogen also. Okay, so all the elements we had at uh, 673 Kelvin, okay, react with the hydrogen, okay, I forgot to mention that. Reg with dihydrogen at 673 
Kelvin okay to give metal hydride okay but lithium it react with dihydrogen at 1073 Kelvin okay now reactivity towards halogens so halogens okay they are electronegative elements okay since they are electronegative elements electronegative elements uh, these alkali metals they easily react with halogens okay let's see the reactions Pm plus X2. Okay, this X can be fluorine, fluorine, bromine, bromine iodine to give to M X. Okay, where M here will be positive, X will be negative. So this is called as metal halide. Okay. Now there will be difference, okay? Like the previous one, this lithium, a uh, lithium halide, they are slightly, uh, slightly covalent. Then, okay, need a. Uh, this form okay we call it as uh, ionic okay when there is a positive negative okay they are ionic okay but when there is a sharing of electrons we call it as covalent okay so lithium it's very small okay so lithium cation okay li plus okay when there is positive we call it cation so li plus Cation. Since this lithium will lose electron, okay, one electron and become Li plus, so the number of shell will decrease, okay. So in the first shell, two electron will be present, okay, for lithium. In the second shell, one electron lost, so it has only this shell, okay. So this nucleus is more exposed, okay. So in presence of this uh, anion, okay, bigger anion, anion, okay, in presence of bigger anion, this uh, nucleus, okay, will distort this cloud, okay, electron cloud. So after the distortion, it will look like this, okay. So this distortion of electron cloud is also known as polarizing, okay. So, so when this distortion takes place, okay, this uh, cloud will look somewhat like this, okay. So in this case, uh, sharing of electrons takes place, okay, and this when there is sharing of electrons, we call it as covalent or covalent bond also, okay. This one, okay, when there is plus minus sign ionic bond okay so this lithium they are covalent okay slightly covalent the, the reason is because of the small size of lithium cation okay now reducing nature these alkali metals okay they can readily lose their electrons automost electron ns1 okay electronic configuration we know noble noble gas and S1 so this electron can be easily lost okay and this electron loss can be taken by another um, element okay so losing of electron means oxidation okay and if any element okay except okay they are Except means reduce, okay? They are reduced, okay? So this, uh, they are 
stronger reducing agent also let's see so first this metal okay alkali metal they are when they are in solid form they are converted to gaseous form okay so when they are converted to gaseous form it is also known as sublimation okay from solid to gaseous means sublimation okay so the energy involved is known as sublimation and Delphi. now this gaseous metal can lose electron okay so after losing electron it becomes m plus okay electron loss okay so in this case what happened is oxidation okay so oxidation takes place that means losing of electron so this electron can be taken up by another elements okay and thus uh, reduction takes place okay that means it is reduced okay so when this m ion okay m plus okay react with water it becomes m aquas okay so we get back the uh, m plus okay in, in aquas so for this one it will be ionization okay losing of electron means ionization okay ionization enthalpy and this one addition of water means hydrogen okay so energy involved will be enthalpy okay so hydrogen enthalpy Six solubility in liquid ammonia. So these alkali metals, okay. Alkali metals. They are soluble in liquid ammonia, okay. They, they dissolve in liquid. I'm writing in sharp form liquid ammonia. Okay. To give deep blue solution so this blue deep blue solution they are conducting in nature let's see the reaction m represent the alkali metal x plus y nh3 this x plus y represents the moles okay so it can be one two three four like that even y one two three four like that okay it can be one one also okay so if it is one one then two all together two so two moles of ammonia to give this metal react with m okay it combines with this uh n h3 x mole this from the cation next is electron then NH3 Y moles okay negative anion okay anion now this is the ammoniated okay electron so because of this ammoniated electron there is deep blue coloration or deep blue solution okay let's see the reason okay so these uh, ammoniated electrons okay absorb energy okay this electron absorb energy in their ground state okay after absorbing energy it get excited to a higher energy state okay or excited state we call it as excited state okay to gain in energy it move to a higher energy state and after that it lose their energy okay dissipate their energy or radiation okay from excited state to ground state okay so this electron comes back to the ground state okay while coming back to the ground state it gives off energy okay 
or release energy okay this is visible okay in the visible region okay this is visible in the visible region or electromagnetic spectrum okay so you observe this blue deep blue color okay this is the reason why it shows the blue color so because of this uh, electron present okay since these alkali metals it readily loss electrons okay and it gives electron to this uh, ammonia okay and because of this electron the magnetic nature is paramagnetic okay so it is paramagnetic now these uh, solutions okay on standing slowly liberate hydrogen okay so it liberate hydrogen and then forms amide let's see the region m plus am here am is the solution in ammonia okay I'm writing in short form electron so in this uh, ammonia solution okay alkali metal is present okay that means and then there will be so many alkali metals so electron will be available okay it is three so m n h2 so this is the amide okay so it gives amide and then give of hydrogen okay or liberate hydrogen so we get half hydrogen here okay so the color okay color changes to bronze bronze color okay and in this case it is the magnetic behavior will be uh, avoid the background noise okay Mag magnetic behavior in this case will be diamagnetic okay so this one is paramagnetic this one is diamagnetic okay so in exams this kind of questions come okay especially in competitive exams okay what is the color okay uh, why the color is blue or, or whether it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic something like that okay